standing in the Burden Room, one of the innermost sanctums of Lowe Library. It's a very impressive structure, crafted at the time of the construction of Lowe Library, perhaps synonymous with the Gilded Age, which was populated by these folks in the, uh, uh, the portraits. I'm standing in front of a fireplace in the side of the Burden Room, which bears testimony in several different ways that the Earth was a very different place during the Paleozoic era than it is now. First of all, you can see it's a dark stone with some light-colored blotches in it. These blotches are, in fact, fossils of an organism which no longer populates the Earth. Its cousins and descendants populate the Earth. They're the corals that form the great reefs and banks of the tropics. You will see that there are bands of light and dark and light and dark, denser and less dense carbonate that are deposited by these colonial organisms as they respond to the variations in light, which are both seasonal and daily. The sun goes up, the sun comes down. The metabolic processes of the organisms which deposit this carbonate respond to that light record. And so if we look at a sequence of this guy, this is recording roughly uh, half a dozen years of growth of this organism, 400 million years ago in the middle of the Devonian. What's interesting to look in very fine detail with a very high-powered optical microscope or with an electron microscope is that within each of these annual or seasonal cycles of lighter and darker, there are very fine laminations which correspond to daily structures of light and dark cycles. And if you then record how many years are visible and how many daily cycles, there's a very subversive surprise awaiting for you when you do that bookkeeping. Because it turns out that corals of this species in the middle of the Devonian 400 million years ago or so record on average 415 days in a year. So things were definitely show-stoppingly different 400 million years ago in the middle of the Devonian. That's a bit of a shock, and the natural question arises as to why things were so different in the Devonian than they are now. Why could the uh, uh, number of days in the year have changed? The daily cycles are the rate at which the Earth turns on its axis. And so if there's some way to adjust the rate of spin of the Earth to make it go faster in the past and slower in the present, you can understand why it turns with a rapidity in the Devonian that gives it 415 turns in a yearly compass around the sun. It's now fairly clear what's driving this evolution in the uh, rotation rate of the Earth. And it has to do with the fact that the moon which goes around us, raises significant tidal bulges in the ocean as a consequence of the gravity field. So if you folks out there are the moon, and I'm the Earth, and you're going around me, or I'm turning underneath you, your gravity is pulling a bulge of ocean towards the moon, and there's another bulge on the back, which is complementary to that. But since I'm spinning, and the ocean is somewhat viscously dragging on the irregularities of the continental shelves and the mountain ranges under the ocean and so forth, the bulge, which is raised by the tides, actually moves a little bit ahead of the line from me, the Earth, to you, the Moon. The consequence of that is that a bulge, which is leading the line of the axis, actually asserts an attractive force on the Moon and accelerates it and it makes it move a little bit faster. That adds to the angular momentum of the moon. You have to conserve the angular momentum of the system. And as a consequence, the moon goes faster and backs out, and the moon and the earth revolves more slowly as this process unfolds over the millennia and billions of years, in fact, that this process has been going on. And it turns out that the moon is actually receding a few centimeters a year from us due to exactly the effect that I described. And as a consequence, we can actually see the rotation rate of the Earth change just a little teeny bit, which shows up directly as a retreat of the moon from the Earth's orbit. 
So for a 415 turns per year rotation, that means that the length of the day back in the Devonian was significantly shorter than it is today. 24 hours today, these guys had a 21 hour day.